Welcome back, boys and girls, for today's math lesson. Today, we are working on lesson 10.7, which is estimate and measure liquid volume. Your essential question for today, how can you estimate and measure liquid volume in metric units? Let's get started. Liquid volume is the amount of liquid in a container. How can you measure liquid volume? Let's unlock the problem. To measure one liter of liquid, fill a one liter beaker with water to the one liter mark. Click the beaker to pour one liter of water into the bucket. So remember, we're supposed to estimate how much liquid volume there will be when the container is filled. So when we use this liter beaker, how much liquid volume will, um, can the bucket hold? Is the bucket mostly full or mostly empty? There's still a lot of room in the bucket after one liter of water is poured into it. The bucket is mostly empty. Click the beaker to pour one liter of water into the vase. Again, estimate how much liquid volume will there be in this container. We're going to pour from the beaker to the vase. Is the vase mostly full or mostly empty? The vase is mostly full. What can you say about the amount of liquid volume in each container? The liquid volume remains the same when it's poured into different size containers. The containers appear mostly empty or mostly full depending on their size. So size matters. If you have a bigger container, it can hold a larger amount of volume compared to a smaller container. A full glass holds less than one liter. A water bottle holds about one liter. A fish bowl holds more than one liter. Drag the containers to order them from the one you think will hold the least water to the one you think will hold the most water. Check your work when you're done. Okay, so we have a cup, a kitchen sink, and a teapot. And which container will hold less than one liter? Yep, that's right. Okay, let's move on. Which container will hold about one liter? Is it the kitchen sink or the teapot? You got it. And finally, the container that holds more than one liter is the kitchen sink. Good job. A teacup will hold less than one liter of water. A teapot will hold about one liter of water, and a kitchen sink will hold more than one liter of water. Let's move on. Estimate how much liquid volume there will be when each container is filled. To estimate the liquid volume in each container, Imagine pouring a one liter beaker of water into it. About how much liquid volume will there be when the pitcher is filled? Okay, is it less than one liter, about one liter, or more than one liter? This container holds about one liter. Way to go! When a pitcher is filled, its liquid volume will be about one liter. About how much liquid volume will there be when the juice box is filled? Less than one liter, about one liter, or more than one liter. Good. Good job! There will be less than one liter of liquid volume when the juice box is filled. About how much liquid volume will there be when the punch bowl is filled? Less than one liter, about one liter, or more than one liter. Good. More. You're right. There will be more than one liter of liquid volume when the punch bowl is filled. 
Let's move on. Now, let's practice with the personal math trainer. So let's review what the textbook has. All right, so to review, one liter is about one beaker full of water. Notice the water line is at one liter. That's about the size of a water bottle. Again, a full glass holds less than one liter, a water bottle holds about one liter, and a fish bowl holds more than one liter. Now let's practice. So again, as I review each number, pause the video before you listen to the answer and compare whether your answer is the same as mine. So number one, the beaker is filled with water. Is the amount more than one liter? about one liter or less than one liter. Take a look at the image. Good, I hope you said about one liter. Now let's move on to number two. It says, estimate how much liquid volume there will be when the container is filled. On your paper, you need to write more than one liter, about one liter or less than one liter. Number two. A cup of tea. Good. Less than one liter. Now let's move on to number three. The kitchen sink. More than one liter, about one liter, or less than one liter. Yes. More than one liter. And number four. The teapot. More than one liter, about one liter, or less than one liter. about one liter. Great. Now let's move on. So on your own, these problems will look similar to your practice book, which is page 187. So let's review one final time before you have to work on your own. Number five, a pitcher. Is it more than one liter, about one liter, or less than one liter? You got it, about one liter. And the juice box. More than one liter, about one liter, or less than one liter. That's right, less than one liter. And the punch bowl. More than one liter, about one liter, or less than one liter. You got it, more than one liter. Now finally, we're gonna compare the same size containers. And it says, Rosario pours juice into four bottles that are the same size. Number eight, did Rosario pour the same amount into each bottle? Yes or no? That's right, no. Number nine, which bottle has the least amount of juice? That's right, W has the least amount. And let's move on to number 10. Which bottle has the most juice? That's right, Y has the most. Okay, boys and girls, now it's your turn to complete page 187 on your own. That's it for now. See you next time.